Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create an array, store variables within that array, and then access the elements of that array. The first step in creating an array is to define its type. Today we're going to use the integer type. So we type int and then a pair of brackets. The pair of brackets lets the computer know that you're attempting to create an array. The second step is to name your array. I'm going to name it my array. The third step is to put an equal sign and then a pair of squiggly brackets. But within the squiggly brackets, we put the elements that we want to store in the array. So we want to store integers. So I'm going to type 2, 56, 87, 9, 0, and 13. And then we put a semicolon to end that line. All right, so now we've created an array. We've stored variables within that array. How do we access them? To do that, we do a for loop. So we type for, pair of brackets, and then we want to create an integer called index. And then we want this to loop, or we want that to be set equal to zero. And we want this to loop as long as the index is less than the length of the array that we created. So to do that, we just type myArray.length. And then every time this loops, we want the index to increase by 1. So within this for loop, we write console.writeLine. And then we put our array in here. And then the index. And then we close it off. And this will output our entire array. So let's explain this. So each time this loops, this is going to increase by 1. So it starts off with 0. So this is going to equal 0. That corresponds to the first piece of information in the array. So once it loops, it increases by two, 1. rather, um, And then this, therefore, is equal to 1. And that corresponds to the second piece of information, and so on and so forth, until we get to the final piece of information. So let's see what that gives us. 2, 56, 87, 9, 0, and 13. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create an array, store variables within the array, and then access those variables. If you have any questions on anything about C Sharp, go ahead and place those in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Thank you and goodbye.